It's 4 a.m. I'm gassed up and ready to go. I have a very long road ahead of me. It is 35 degrees today. It's raining. <laughs> so that means it's going to be a long day. Anyway, I got a very long road trip ahead of me and I'm bringing you with me. Let's go. Alright, so I'm in Fort Stockton and the weather has gotten pretty terrible. Look at this. I've been driving through all this. There's nothing but ice. Crazy. So look at this. Look at all this buildup right here. Can't even remove it. <laughs> anyway, uh, look at this. Just tons of ice on the road. So it's obviously slowing me down. I'm having to be extremely careful. There was one time I was going over a bridge and the truck kind of uh, did that number. That woke me up for sure. Uh, there was a couple of wrecks on the, on the highway, just people that kind of lost control and hit the guardrail or something. So uh, not the best driving conditions, but I'm already in Fort Stockton. Uh, Another few hours I'll be, I'll be in El Paso and I know once I get to El Paso I'm home free because there's no, there's nothing over there but here it's pretty cold. It's down to 27 now and it's still raining so it ain't going to get better anytime soon. So I'm going to get fueled up and I'm going to get back on the road. Alright so it's 24 degrees now. It's getting worse rather than better. Uh, I pulled over at this gas station trying to get some fuel but the pumps are not working. They're all torn apart, so I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of there's a lot of trucks here. I just from the highway it just looks like a fully operational uh, gas station, and they even have the uh, the sign is on. So anyway, luckily I still have about five eighths of a tank, so I'll be fine. Uh, it's just uh, kind of strange, but uh, anyway, it's down to 24 degrees now, and it's really really cold. It's still drizzling, but uh, yeah, the roads are still icy. So, got to keep on trucking. All right, I stopped for fuel. <laughs> I was going to give you an update outside. Holy smokes, it's cold. It's 24 degrees, and it is windy. Very, very windy. And I'm wearing shorts and a hoodie and no gloves or anything. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you an update from in here. So, I'm in Van Horn, Texas. Uh, I'm still in Texas. I have drove, let me see. Sorry, I had to get out of the way so a tr uh, truck could get on the pump. But uh, anyway, so I have drove close to 500 miles and I'm still in Texas. <laughs> I'm, n I'm nowhere even near getting out of Texas yet. So um, I'm from Texas. So if you've never been to Texas or you're not from Texas, getting out of Texas is what takes the longest because it's so big. And I live in the San Antonio area. So I'm pretty much in the center. So it doesn't matter where I go. I have multiple hours just to get out of texas uh going west it's about eight hours before i can get out of texas so <laughs> that's what's going on right now so anyway i'm gonna get me uh it's only 10 30 a.m but i'm probably gonna get me something to eat right now uh just so i don't have to stop anywhere else uh i'll give you another update later on it is still freaking cold out here look at that my windshield it's still, I mean, the whole car is covered in ice. I would show you, but it's freaking cold out. You know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So this is what my car looks like on the outside. Covered in ice. And this is not the good stuff. Look at that. Nasty. Look at this. Look at the headlights. Just covered. Everything's covered. Look at that. <laughs> it's totally baked on anyway all right i'm gonna get back on the road so see that windshield washer fluid they have there <laughs> they're making a killing on that you know why 
anyone from South Texas traveling west, we we don't use windshield washer fluid in South Texas. We just put water because <laughs> it never freezes. Well, you come out here now, everything's frozen. So guess what? We got to buy windshield uh, washer fluid, and they have it out front. <laughs> like I said, they're making a killing. I, I think I paid four dollar for the stupid thing. I don't even know what it costs because I never buy it. But anyway, I had to get some. Back on the road we go. Well, as you can see, it's snowing now. Oh man, I don't know how, how much worse this is gonna get. I haven't made it to El Paso yet, and uh, there's a lot more accidents on the highway. There's snow plows, there's, <laughs> I mean, this is Texas, not supposed to snow. So I don't know how much worse it's gonna get. So I hope I don't get delayed too much. I know it's gonna get better, but I need to get out of this stuff, but it ain't easy. Look how much snow is on the ground. This is Las Cruces, New Mexico. Crazy weather. I never would have expected this. <laughs> Look at that. Just a ton of snow on the ground. I would have never guessed. Not in, I mean, I thought this weather was gonna break by the time I got to El Paso and it, it only got stronger, so. Well, at least it's not, uh, you know, uh, sleet and ice, it's snow now. It's a little bit better than ice. So as you can probably tell by the sun, I'm already in Arizona. <laughs> I'm still about two hours away from Phoenix, but at least I'm not having to drive through snow anymore. This is gonna make it a lot easier and a lot safer. I mean, it's been a crazy ride the whole way. The entire time I drove through New Mexico, it was snowing. I would have never thought. And a large part of Texas also, crazy. Anyway, so I'm already in Arizona. About two more hours and I'll be in Phoenix. See you when I get there. So I spoke too soon. We don't have snow, but we have accidents. So that's causing a huge delay. <laughs> oh man, well, oh, here's the old. Oh, he got rear-ended pretty bad. Anyway, well, looks like they're safe you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a uh, i've never done an instagram not an instagram but a youtube story um since i'm pretty bored <laughs> i'm gonna make a story and i don't know how to contact anybody through youtube so you're gonna have to go to my instagram and subscribe and then you're gonna be able to message me through there so what we're gonna do is you can you can message me on uh, Instagram, message me your number, and I will call you, and then you can ask me whatever you want. Of course, by the time you see this video, it would have already happened, so. Uh, if you missed it, go to Instagram <laughs> and subscribe, because I'll probably do it again. I'm gonna post it on Instagram, too. so we made it we drove a thousand and forty seven miles in one day <laughs> what did it take uh it's 8 p.m in phoenix so that would be 9 p.m we left at 4 a.m i'll let you do the math i'm tired so anyway thank you so much for riding along it was a as you guys saw it was a crazy crazy trip because of the snow the ice and all that crazy stuff, but I appreciate you riding with me. And tomorrow we go do the uh, team match, the mid range. So I'll see you tomorrow. I hope all your groups are one whole. See ya.